already a couple of houses have gone through this and find their ways inside the river this is the Ruvubu river you guys are saying that will bring you here you know we used to follow priests the very first time we see a white man i grew up looking at this statue of jesus this village itself is called luvungi <laughs> luvungi 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 yes it is happening right here in luvungi a small village we're talking in the congo and this is actually the middle between bukavu and uvira city what's up guys thank you so much for watching this video once again imani nigazi right here for perfect africa sorbonne center this is it luvungi was raided by german forces from modern day burundi on 12 january 1915 during the eastern african campaign in world war one although small scale the raid ended in defeat and the German commander Karl Schrimmer was killed. Lovungi is a town in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, situated on the Ruzizi River Plain at the borders of Walungu and Uvira territories. In the province of the South Kivu, it is close to both Rwandan and Burundian frontiers. It is believed to have a population of approximately 85,000, who represent a mix of ethnic Folero, Vira, Bembe, Barega, and Bashi. Its economy is founded mainly on the subsistence agriculture and the artisanal mining of Casterit, a nor of tin. It is also in this very village where uh, the 1997 war began that was Laurent Desire Kabila uh, fighting Mobutu with the help of Rwanda and Burundian soldiers, uh, also Ugandans. He managed to overthrow the dictatorship regime of uh, Mobutu and taking the whole country just a year later. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you have not done so. Uh, leave a comment down below and also give this video a big thumbs up. Please like my video, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Here, Imani Nigazi for you, continuing to show you the Africa you don't see on TV. In this region, you guys, this region, which is uh, South Kivu, it's the most uh, region that they speak Swahili. So the Swahili that is in the DRC mostly is spoken from this side, the South Kivu and the North Kivu. Then you go to Lubumbashi. But you guys, I wanted to go to Lubumbashi, but I think Kinshasa would be much more interesting. So I've decided to take you guys to Kinshasa where we're going to get to experience a lot of things. But right before we go, before we start the road to Kinshasa, let's just have a walk and we get to see my home village, Luvungi Station. Yes, we now gonna go outside of the yard. Just gonna be a little bit quick and just give you an idea, you guys. I'm just gonna get out of here. You know, there's a reason behind these high walls. This village never had high walls, but because of the experience that people have been having in this village, of course the war stories, people have just been building and building high walls. So yeah, we're gonna just walk around you guys. These trees are very famous because they were planted here, I think, by the priests. There used to be a big refugee camp, refugee from Burundi and from Rwanda. It used to be over that side of that road. You go, continue with it. But otherwise, you guys, we're gonna just go around and walk through. The other thing I want to point out is that 
there is a national road number five that passed through the village, which is now a town. So I end up here. Hey. So um, yeah, guys, we're just walking around the Luvungi village right there we're getting to this town center about 15 years uh, been absent just wait you guys to see what's happening around especially those who are from Luvonge You already know what I'm talking about, you guys. Let's enjoy and have a glimpse of what's happening here. But yeah, this is my village. A lot of people don't know me anymore. Oh, I used to be famous in this village. This is a military camp here. Yeah, they do. They just do it. They make it right in the center of the village. So if we go straight here, we're going to Kamanyola and Bukavu. Let's see. Very same road. Jambo Jam. Hey. What? Hey. Dogo bien. Dogo vip. Bona jiste. Nsao. This is my sister. Grew up together down there where I'm taking you right now. So amazing, beautiful things. Stay tuned, I'm about to show you the amazing stuff. Yes. So all this, so she's saying, she's saying she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand English. And I don't know. You say what to you? She doesn't understand English. <laughs> so yes, you guys, this road used to be a beautiful road. This, it goes that side to the priest the priest the catholic church and yes as she's saying this is the national road number five this road right here goes to uvira this is his house, he grew up here, someone I know. Look at how the national road number five is now, so degrading, so bad. I mean like, look, look, look man, so bad. And going that way, you're going to Uvira. From that side, you're going this side to Bukavu. <laughs> uh, and apparently, this thing, this thing is medicine. You see how people are like cutting the the part of it. Like it's medicine. This tree. I don't know for what. Need to find out again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the school I went to. If you continue with this road, you're actually going to Burundi. It's so crazy. Maybe I should take you that side and get you to Rizizi River. And there, over somewhere, there is the church. I think I'm gonna get the opportunity to show it to you guys. This block, my first year at school as a child, I was six years old. My very, very, very first year at school, guys, was in this classroom. I'm gonna. But anyways, you guys, I'm about to show you my home. Now, right here used to be the residence of the uh, principal of this school right here. So this used to be his house. Many, many times I slept in this room here, which belonged to my best friend. And you know, time to time we'll come here and, and play. 
and maybe fall asleep and then we just sleep we're kids this is my house this is my father's house he built this actually before passing on a study ladies and gentlemen we are home a study abari that's boy okay cool 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 abari what this is my sister she's busy cleaning up this is my house you guys this is my my dad's house i'm so amazed and guys look at this ducks free range ducks and ladies and gentlemen my perfect spot here you can see the national road number five that road is actually a national road but it's almost gravel now the government doesn't inter uh, doesn't do anything about it right here together with my uncle this is my uncle you guys he's busy doing some researches he's gonna tell us later on i think we're gonna do a video about him he's into minerals eh? this guy is, is very rich mining engineer <laughs> he's an engineer in the mining sector so right now he's the guy who goes to discovering all this all these minerals you know and then yeah he's got some connections i mean like you guys just hit me up if you need some stuff this is the church this is where my father used to be a pastor from uh, unfortunately he passed away in 2004 and yeah from this school there is a clinic now it's a hospital it used to be a small center but they turned it into a hospital and it's a big one now chef <laughs> 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 So this is one of my uncles you guys, he's just a neighbor from my grandfather's house and we are just a family. <laughs> His name is Birikoko. Birikoko Lik. So this is the national road number five. See how degrading it is, man. That's so crazy. Merci, merci. So this is the national road number five. This is so crazy. So degraded. To the core like yo it's now gravel it used to be tart this road as you guys can see there this place where i am right now is like it's like at the priest the catholic church it is with no doubt that the most iconic thing in this village is uh this compound of the catholic church this church is called paruas saint famille Luvungi. It is uh, believed to be uh, one of the old uh, structures here in Lubungi. I grew up looking at this statue of Jesus. It was really painted in the skin of a white. It was so crazy and then it was so big here yeah. like everybody from the village would come here to pray and you know we used to follow priests the very first time we see a white man because they used to come from Italy and from different other uh, European countries and come here some even from Mexico So amazing and then down here oh the majestic Ruvubu river guys when I was in South Africa I went to Venda I found another Luvubu river 
And here it is, here in the Congo as well, in Lubungi. And this river is the reason why this village is here because that was the main source of water right here. I'm supposed to be happy seeing my village right here but this river right here this river is just frustrating me the reason being because it's taking people's houses as you guys can see there's a whole big thing right here oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that look at that and we used to go down and then walk through the river to the river that side but now it, it keeps coming this side and this side but I think what the authority is supposed to do is to deviate this river and maybe make it cross over that side because on the other side there there's no people. So now what this river is doing, you see how it's actually affecting and all this is because it's now getting, finding its way where people are living. Like you guys can see where I am, it's even more dangerous here where I'm standing. But I can still go further, I think. I'm just trying to go a little bit deeper and show you. You see, now it's like another river that is just coming all the way from where people are living. Like, you guys, look at this. So basically, just from up here, there were houses already right there where this thing already taken its, its, its side. And you can see there are houses there, so, which means it becomes much more dangerous because the whole town can actually find itself swallowed by this tiny river the people of this area are just living in danger as you guys can see already things have gone all these areas were houses and the, and this guy says it only rained once and it took all the way from there where you see that tree and the other one up until to all this area here it was taken in one day Yeah. Unaweza <laughs> Mm. 
na hii miti unaona kutoka hii miti inasaidia sana ndio ina blokea kusema ile 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 dongo yote sanguke mm -hmm. cool lakini kisasa wakati mvuli inanyesha uh, mai tena na promotion hapa si unaona kama kungola na mizizi ya miti eh na mizizi ya miti kule chini deja ishaangukia kule chini juu ilikuwa kinafika kule eh yeah. miti ilikuwa inafika kule chini ikaanguka yote iliangukia kule ndio yeah. kufuatana na mai yenye inatoka hapa mm. lakini ingeliwezekana pakubwa baba anafika kutuvisite kwa ya mwingine wanafanya visitaji hapa wanakuwa tusaidii naweza kwa ya maana sana mm. tupasike wengi hatujiwezi kwanza vitu kwa tunalia tutaenda wapi na watoto ndii hapa kutokuwa mjane umoya shaenda haiko umoya haiko bawili asha toka asha toka hapa pote kwa hivi iko ndani lazima kunyatalala ika ile nyumba iko sasa vile wese joini kwa amu anachunga tena mvula ibomole ikuinyeshi mtoshe tena na pale anze toka njoo ule tata na shimama pale Oh. Hey. Poli san. Nyumba yake ilikuwa nayo hapa hapo ikabomoka. It's just so crazy man. I've heard about this and I said to myself I will definitely come here and show it to you. Never know maybe you can come uh, of a help maybe you know an NGO that can help. Maybe you know somebody with a good heart with money that can assist the people here. But this is a real danger. Maybe you also know somebody who can press the government to do something about it. That's exactly what people want. Like you guys can see, this was a house here. This was a house that part of it already gone and now they were forced to just destroy it. And eventually it's gonna take all these areas if nothing is done. It's just so crazy, man.